What is up, guys? My name is Rhino, and we're back for another video. So another ranking video. Ooh, this is going to be fun. So, yeah, a couple of days ago, I uploaded a video where I took some of my Discord members' favorite skins, and I ranked them all from worst to best. So basically saying which ones I agree with the least to the ones I agree with the most. Your favorite skins that I dislike to the ones I like. So now we're going to be doing something similar, only the opposite. I've asked some of my de fellow Discord members to choose their least favorite skins, and I'm going to be ranking them from best to worst, because on the last video, I ranked them all from worst to best. So I started with cracking the whip on some of you who chose some bad skins as your favorites, to some of the ones where I 100% agree as to why they're your favorite. So for this one, I wanted to start off with cracking the whip on some of you who chose some good skins, because some of you chose some good skins as your least favorite skins, to the ones where I agree with you that you definitely chose some hideous skins as your least favorites. So, yes, take this with a grain of salt. This is not to be taken seriously, okay? This is just for fun, okay? I love all you guys, and I respect all your opinions, but I thought this would just be something to have fun with. So, I'm going to be taking all of your least favorite skins. I've been warming up the wooden spoon for some of yous, and also mentally preparing myself to talk about some genuinely hideous skins on this. So, let's begin. So, starting at the number 22 spot, yes, we have a little bit more entries on this list, but at the number 22 spot, we have... I hate to say this, the Mitre skin, which is Fear Beretta's least favorite skin. I probably butchered your name wrong again, but I don't care. You just chose Midas as your least favorite skin. Okay, like, I guess you don't have to like the skin aesthetically, but make no mistake, Midas is one of the most revolutionary and game-changing Battle Pass skins of all time, and you decided to choose him as your least best. I guess you were so tired of seeing Midas that you decided to rank him as, the fa as your least favorite. And I bet if Midas was a female, you would love her because you are sexist. I'm just joking. But still, Midas as the worst skin? Mate, I think you're on crack. You are on crack. All right, moving on to the number 21 spot, we have Poison Ivy, who is Carlo's least favorite skin. And Carlo, I got one thing to say to you, mate. Yeah, Poison Ivy is a great skin. At the number 20 spot, we have Night Knight, who is XOXO's favorite skin. So she claims that it's her least favorite because it scares the shit out of her. Well, I got something to tell you. If it scares the shit out of you, I'm going to use it. Because if it's really a nightmare fuel-inducing skin, then that's just going to give me an advantage. When, you're, when you see me wearing that skin, cranking 90s on top of you, you are going to get scared to death so much to, you, so much to the point where you're going to poop your pants and I'm going to win the fight. So you know I'm going to be using this skin. All right, at the number 19 spot, we have the Siren, who is Iggy's least favorite skin. So I guess you chose this because this skin gives you vibe of an actual siren that you hear when you see someone using this, the sweat siren, the me mo me mo me mo And I guess it's called Siren for a reason, because it's the sweat siren skin, and that's why you hate it. Uh, at the number 18 spot, we have Frosted Flurry, excuse me, which is Jake's Fav least favorite skin. So, Frosted Flurry, yeah, not the best Christmas skin, but I do think it's a really good skin. So, I don't know why you'd rank it this low. Is it because you don't like the the butt on her bow? The bow on her butt, excuse me. Or is it you don't like her hair? Or is it you think she's ugly? Or do you just, I don't know, hate snow or something like that? I don't know. Why would you put this as your least favorite? I don't get it. Uh, moving on to number 17 spot, we have Sky, who is Stalin's least favorite skin. So, I bet you, 100%, you used to think this was one of your favorites until you realized, because no, no, you didn't just think of this as your favorite skin. You loved her so much, you dated her, and then you realized that she cheated on you with Ray K, who, Sky is Ray K's favorite skin, and you got so mad at her, you decided to put her as your least favorite. Yeah, understandable. Uh, moving on to the number 16 spot, we have Kyra, who is Mouse's favorite skin. So, I believe you hate this skin because she looks so much like Ariana Grande, who believes that God is a woman, who has cheated on seven guys, and who still uses the Kitty 69 jokes in her songs, and believes in anal sex being the best way to go. Yeah, that's why you've chosen it. Uh, moving on to the number 15 spot, we have Scully, which is Riddler's favorite skin. And, yeah, I think this is the skin... She looks like kind of the skin that would, you know, want to steal your boyfriend. And you fear that. So that's why you hate her. Uh, moving on to the number 14 spot, we have the Sparkle Specialist. So I can agree 100%. This skin is definitely overrated and has not aged the best. But make no mistake, she is still a classic skin. She is very colorful. And I think you're just jealous you don't have her. No, I'm just kidding. I don't have her either. And I don't really care less. 
Moving on to the number 13 spot, we have the reskin. So, yes, I do say this is my least favorite skin from this current battle pass. I really do. But it has definitely grown on me a little bit. And I'm telling you, Putin, this is Putin's least favorite skin, by the way. I'm telling you, mate, I think that you're going to like this skin a little bit more once we get through a little more of these. But if not, then I'm going to convince you to like this skin a little bit more to the point where she's not the worst skin in the game by the end of the season. I'm making it a mission, mate. Uh, moving on to the number 12 spot, we have the Candyman, which is Nate, the great least favorite skin. So this is a skin that I both love and hate at the same time. It's a skin made of a box of chocolates. Maybe that's why you hate it, because it reminds you so much of life can be like a box of chocolates. You don't know what you're going to get. Yeah, I guess you hate life, and hence you hate boxes of chocolates, and you hate the skin that looks like a box of chocolates. I don't know. Uh, moving on to the number 11 spot, we have Vendetta, which is Arctic's least favorite skin. So yeah, we are getting to some actually bad skins here, in my opinion. And yeah, Vendetta's definitely one of the weaker tier 100 skins, and like other Season 9 Battle Pass skins, has aged pretty badly. And at the number 10 spot, we have another Season 9 Battle Pass skin, Vega, which is my man, Milk's least favorite skin. So, yeah, I can agree on this one, you know. Uh, one of the weaker skins from the Battle Pass from the start, in my opinion, and definitely one of the most forgettable skins from one of the most forgettable Battle Passes of all time. And especially considering that she's a bounty hunter, and we're in a bounty hunter-themed season, this skin is just... This skin is literally aged like a bag of chips sitting out in the sun. Literally. Uh, moving on to the number 9 spot, we have Pathfinder, which is Jack's least favorite skin. And come on, Jack, you really had to choose a least favorite skin where I can't think of any joke to crack the whip on you for that one, mate? You really? You just had to choose just a boring, plain old skin that's not even worth mentioning. Okay. Uh, moving on to the number 8 spot... We have the Nightshade, which is E-Walking Dead's favorite skin. So, yeah, they got this skin wrong. This is not a tomato head. It, she looks more like a pumpkin head. And, yeah, she does a mixture between, I guess, tomato head and uh, and uh, the Fate skin. Just, yeah, very similar. And, again, maybe, maybe you're a person who believes that tomato's a vegetable, and when so many people say it's a fruit, you get mad. I don't know. Right, coming in at the number seven spot, we have Ray K's least favorite skin, Cobalt. What do you have to say about this skin? I mean, uh, yeah, it kind of sucks. But then again, maybe you just hate the periodic table or hate science. Uh, moving on to the number six spot, we have Squad Leader, which is No Lol's least favorite skin. So, yeah, this skin is pretty bad and has aged pretty bad, but don't give it the attention it deserves. No one even uses this skin. I don't see anyone using this fucking skin. Just don't give it the attention it deserves, please. Uh, moving on to the number five spot, we have Kylo Ren and multiple other people's least favorite skins, Dynamo. What are you saying, bro? Dynamo is the best skin in the game. Stop disrespecting him. Go away, Raptor. You have nothing to do with this. Yeah, yeah, Dynamo, yeah, is a pretty bad skin. I mean, some people only like it because Mongrel and Mitra start using it saying, oh, it's the best skin in the game. I could still hear you, no. Ugh. But nah, this skin has been bad from the moment it fucking released. And... Yeah, I don't think... It's not at the number one spot, yes, because I don't think it's the worst skin in the game. And I do think some people only hate this skin because it's a sweaty skin. But yeah, in my eyes, it's just never been a good skin. Never. And who the hell cares about Lucha Libre Wrestling? I mean, I, I mean, I, I mean, I guess I'm okay with you if you do. But come on, if I'm going to see... If I'm going to watch boxing, I'd rather not see gay guys do it. Uh, moving on to the number four spot, we have Sterling, which is Goat's least favorite skin, a.k.a. Grandpa Lux. Yeah, I can see you laughing. I can hear you laughing. I don't know if it's because you're laughing at the joke I just made or you're laughing at the fact that there are four other skins that are even worse than Dynamo. But yeah, nah, Sterling, he's just kind of like, you know, that granddad who wants to try and get in with the cool kids, you know, the cool rich kids. So he's like, oh, you think us old men are losers? So, all right. I'm going to put on some clothes, some silver, and some of the most expensive headphones ever, and I'm going to get out there and look cool. Yeah, nah, he doesn't look cool at all. Uh, moving on to the number three spot, we have Giddy Up, which is SDJJJ's least favorite skin. Come on, bro, really? You had to choose a skin that you could not even ride as your least favorite skin. I mean, I know he's a guy, but still... Yeah, whatever. Uh, moving on to the number two spot, we have the Double Cross, which is Fenix's least favorite skin. So, I can't really see why you would choose this as your least favorite skin, even though I do agree. This skin, yeah, it's... Uh, it's 
essentially double-crossed me in so many ways. I don't think this skin appeals to me at all. It's not my style, and even for what it is, I do not think it's very good, and I think Kalia is just a hundred times better. But moving on to the number one spot, for the worst skin out of my Discord members' least favorite skins, we have the Sugar Plum, which is Matisse's least favorite skin. So, yeah, Sugar Plum is just god-awful. So, yeah, not only is this the worst skin in this list, I do think this is one of the worst skins in the whole game. It is the worst of the worst skins. It truly is, and one of, if not, spoiler alert, because I am uploading my worst to best Christmas skins video very soon after this, the worst Christmas skin. Yeah, there's just... I could try to find redeeming qualities of this skin. I can't. It really reminds me of one of those skins such as Sugar Plum. It really reminds me more of aftertaste, like a bad aftertaste. The color scheme is just hideous. I don't like the clothing. Don't like the theme. Do not care for anything about this skin. It is truly god-awful. All right, well, that's pretty much going to wrap up this video. And, whew, that's, uh, that was a lot. Me, uh, sorry, sorry to the whip marks that some of you have from my ranting and raving and... But that was kind of hard on me, talking about some of these hideous skins, so give me a chance, guys. But no, it was all a joke, and I hope you guys aren't too offended. I hope you guys enjoyed, because I did. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it as much as I did making it. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe if you're new here, tell me what you think of these skins, and maybe take part in the next one, where I'll be taking part in my Discord server's favourite sets. So stay tuned for that, because I have a lot of fun making these. But until then, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.